Prince Manga Sufu Buthalezi, age 95, has died. The 95-year-old passed away in the early hours of Saturday morning. The 95-year-old passed away in the early hours of Saturday morning. IFP founder and traditional prime minister to the Zulu royal family Prince Manga Sufu Buthalezi has died. The family announced Buthaletsi's death in a statement released early on Saturday morning. In this devastating moment, we thank God Almighty for his faithfulness and grace, knowing with certainty that Untwana has been embraced by his Lord. The family said it will engage with Zulu King Misa Zulu Kazwelathini, President Cyril Ramaphosa, the Buthalezi family and the leadership of the IFP as the necessary funeral arrangements are made. Further details in this regard will be announced in due course. The family has asked for privacy as it deals with this unspeakable trauma. We thank the nation for the immense support that has been shown towards our family in the past few weeks, and give thanks for the prayers that will surely sustain us now. May South Africa's beloved servant rest in peace, read the statement. Commenting on Buthaletsi's death, President Cyril Ramaphosa said Buthaletsi has been an outstanding leader in the political and cultural life of our nation, including the ebbs and flows of our liberation struggle. The transition which secured our freedom in 1994 and our democratic dispensation. My thoughts and prayers and those of government and our nation go out to the royal household who have been blessed to share, said Ramaphosa. Buthalezi was born on August 27, 1928, in Ulundi, northern KwaZulu Natal, the son of the late Zulu nation ruler, King Dinazulu's daughter, Princess Magogo, Buthalezi attended Adams College and the University of Fort Hare, among other institutions. A former ANC Youth League, ANCYL, member, Buthalezi formed the Inkatha Freedom Party in 1975. Despite being opposed to the apartheid government, Buthalezi accepted a role as chief minister of the KwaZulu government which was one of the Bantustan administrations created by the government. However, while other Bantustan's leaders accepted the title of being presidents of their so-called independent states, Buthalezi did not accept the government's proposal that KwaZulu should become an independent. Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi, 95, has died. Obituary the 95-year-old passed away in the early hours of Saturday morning. Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi. Photo, Rajesh Jantalal, AFP Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi. Photo, Rajesh Jantalal, AFP IFP founder and traditional prime minister to the Zulu royal family Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi has died. He was 95 years old. The family announced Buthaletsi's death in a statement released early on Saturday morning. In this devastating moment, we thank God Almighty for his faithfulness and grace. Knowing with certainty that Untwana has been embraced by his Lord, he quietly and painlessly stepped into eternity in the early hours of this morning, read the statement. Also read... Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi released from hospital. Buthalezi described as a towering and significant historical figure. The family said it will engage with Zulu King Misa Zulu Kazwelathini, President Cyril Ramaphosa, the Buthalezi family and the leadership of the IFP as the necessary funeral arrangements are made. Further details in this regard will be announced in due course. The family has asked for privacy as it deals with this unspeakable trauma. We thank the nation for the immense support that has been shown towards our family in the past few weeks, and give thanks for the prayers that will surely sustain us now. May South Africa's beloved servant rest in peace, read the statement. Commenting on Buthaletsi's death. 
President Cyril Ramaphosa said Buthelezi has been an outstanding leader in the political and cultural life of our nation, including the ebbs and flows of our liberation struggle. The transition which secured our freedom in 1994 and our democratic dispensation. My thoughts and prayers and those of government and our nation go out to the royal household who have been blessed to share, said Ramaphosa. Untwana Wakwaf and Jean's extended lifetime with him, as well as to the Zulu nation and the leadership and membership of the Inkatha Freedom Party. Also read, Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi anticipated to be discharged next week obituary, Buthalezi was born on August 27, 1928, in Ulundi, northern KwaZulu-Natal. The son of the late Zulu nation ruler, King Dinazulu's daughter, Princess Magogo, Buthalezi attended Adams College and the University of Fort Hare, among other institutions. A former ANC Youth League, ANCYL, member. Buthalezi formed the Inkatha Freedom Party in 1975. Despite being opposed to the apartheid government, Buthalezi accepted a role as chief minister of the KwaZulu government which was one of the Bantustan administrations created by the government. King of the Zulu Nation, Mrs. Zulu Zulu, L. Traditional Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation Prince Mangasuthu Buthalezi, C., and former South African President Jacob Zuma, R., attend the reenactment of the Battle of Asandwana. In Asandwana on January 21, 2023, Photo by Rajesh J-A-N-T-I-L-A-L, A-F-P. However, while other Bantustan's leaders accepted the title of being presidents of their so-called independent states, Buthalezi did not accept the government's proposal that KwaZulu should become an independent Bantustan. Despite Buthalezi's stance that ANC leaders advised him to form the IFP so that the movement could be used as a weapon to counter the apartheid government inside the country. The IFP founder was subsequently vilified by some ANC leaders who labeled him as a puppet for the apartheid government. The animosity between Buthalezi and some ANC leaders led to violent confrontations between the IFP supporters and those of the ANC. According to statistics, the violence between supporters of the two political parties claimed the lives of about 20,000 people in the late 80s and early 90s, when leaders of political parties held talks during the build-up to the country's first democratic elections in 1994. Buthalezi initially refused to be part of them. As a condition for participating in the talks, Buthalezi demanded that the country should be a federal state, with provinces being independent from the central government. Further, Buthalezi demanded that land under the Inganyama Trust should continue being under the control of KZN traditional leaders post-1994. While it was agreed that land under the Inganyama Trust should continue being under the control of traditional leaders, Buthalezi's demand for a federal state was referred to a team of international mediators, which until now is yet to deal with the matter. Following an agreement between Buthalezi and the Convention for a Democratic South Africa, CODESA, negotiators, the IFP subsequently agreed to participate in the elections. Agreements reached at CODESA saw Buthalezi serving for 10 years as Home Affairs Minister following the country's first democratic elections of 1994. During his tenure as Home Affairs Minister, Buthalezi had a fallout with the then Home Affairs Department Director General, Billy Masetler, a former ANC intelligence operative. Masetler was of the view that Buthalezi intended to use his cabinet minister position to push an IFP agenda. The situation saw Masetler on a number of occasions refusing to take instructions from Buthalezi, who at the time accused the ANC-led government of giving him a spook for a director general.
As the relationship between the two deteriorated, Bothelezi penned a strongly warded letter to Masethla. I will no longer tolerate your open defiance and reserve all my rights herein, the then IFP president said. When the unity government arrangement which made it possible for Buthelezi to serve as cabinet minister lapsed, Buthelezi remained an IFP MP in the National Assembly. However, in the 2004 general elections, the IFP was dislodged from power in KZN by the ANC. In 2009, the IFP lost its KZN official opposition status after several of the party's supporters deserted the organization to join the newly formed IFP splinter political party, the NFP. Led by former ANC national chairperson, Zanele Maguaza Msibi, the NFP also snatched several rural KZN municipalities, including Zululand, from the IFP. The IFP's loss of support led to Buthelezi accusing Maguaza Msibi of using funds from NFP-controlled municipalities to bankroll her party's elections campaign. However, Following Maguaza Msibi's ill health due to a stroke, the NFP soon disintegrated. And in 2019, the IFP regained its official opposition status in KZN following that year's general elections. In the 2021 general elections, the IFP regained almost all the rural municipalities it had lost to the NFP in previous polls. At the time Buthelezi, who remained IFP MP until his death, had relinquished his position as IFP president, handing the baton to the current party leader, Velenkasini Labisa who was elected unopposed during the party's 2019 Nation General Conference. Apart from keeping the IFP afloat during difficult times, Buthelezi has been credited for his role in ensuring the appointment of the current Zulu monarch. King Misa Zulu Kazwelathini as leader of the Zulu nation. Following the death of his father, King Goodwill Kazwelathini in 2020. King Misa Zulu Kazwelathini, who according to Zulu cultural experts was the legitimate heir to the throne, faced immense opposition from some members of the Zulu royal family. Using his wealth of knowledge of Zulu royal family traditions, Buthelezi ensured that King Misazulu was installed as Zulu king. However, in 2023 Buthelezi had a fallout with the new Zulu king. According to Buthelezi, the source of the dispute between him and the king was the Zulu monarch's decision to replace long-serving Inganyama Trust Board, ITB, chairperson, Jerome Nguenya. King Misazulu Kazwelathini, Buthelezi said, had removed Nguenya without consulting him as the Zulu nation prime minister. On July 24, Buthelezi's spokesperson, Lysel van der Merwe announced that the IFP founder has been admitted in hospital following a minor procedure. Although he was discharged, he unfortunately needed to be readmitted for further treatment and recovery, she said. On September 9th it was announced that Buthelezi has died. Buthelezi, who was 95 at the time of his death, is survived by his daughter, Princess Fumziel Buthelezi and his son, Zuzifa Buthelezi. If you're new to the channel please tap that subscribe button and turn on your notifications.